Drop a like on the video if you can't wait for this season's live event. The IO have been defeated, it's time to party and the island is finally at rest. Or is it? This place that we think is heaven is actually far from normal. Someone is watching over us. We jumped into this season with ultimate vibes. Everyone is relaxed and the island is at peace. At the end of last season, we said goodbye to Dr. Sloan and even Gunner falling into the zero point. Jones and the Foundation are now set on their mission to find Gino, the leader of the Imagine Order, and the visitor is thinking about even the seven. The now exposed zero point has been under the control of the imagined order for thousands of years and been used to create the loop known as Fortnite. This is the first time the zero point has been left alone, but as we come to find out, that's not a good thing. It's created an offshoot, the reality tree at the west of the island, which is reminiscent of the lotus flower created during the zero crisis event in season six. This kind of represents the peace on the island, but something bad is going on. It all seems too good to be true. The scientists suspect something is up as it's maybe a bit too peaceful on the island right now. Someone is controlling reality fools, but who is this person? In this video, we're gonna find out. Throughout the season, the reality tree will be growing its roots throughout the map in infecting the island. Fun fact, the blue glowing energy traveling through the roots of the reality tree is the same energy of the zero points that we saw through the cables in season nine, when we were using the zero points energy to power Neo Tilted. So far, Logjam and the Butter Barn have been infected with the temple and even the Daily Bugle up next. These trees that are growing in these areas are offshoots of the main reality tree, and they've been merging realities, bringing us back old points of interest. From the outside, these trees look harmless, but the seven are suspicious of it. The scientist now believes that freeing the zero point was a mistake. So who is this person controlling the infection of the reality tree across the map? It's the character we see at the end of the season 3 trailer. She's looking into an orb, the same way we looked into the zero point during the live event. But before we talk about the storyline for this season, we need to work out who this person is. This character is supposedly one of the elementals, and we've already seen three of them so far in Fortnite try and take down the island. So far, we've We've seen the Ice King who ruled the iceberg, a shard of the ice moon. We've seen the Fire King who ruled the Empire of Fire and finally the Last Reality Empire representing the element of darkness run by the Cube Queen and once upon a time the Origin who used to be the Cube King. This character we believe to be the fourth elemental, the Earth Queen. We've put all the dots together now and it kind of makes sense. All these elements have a place on the table in the Ice King's castle all the way back in season 7. And we can assume that this character is the Earth Queen, the element of nature. She's brought us a whole new biome and plant diversity all over the map. The Ice King symbol that was seen on the table he had on the back of his cape. The Fire King symbol was engraved on his back and the Cube Queen symbol she had on her front. By analysing the Casa skin too, we can see that all these elements are connected and they all line up and match perfectly with the elements and symbols seen on this table. But this character we've seen in the Season 3 trailer looks awfully familiar familiar to a character called Bloom. This character was released way back in Chapter 2, Season 7, and Bloom originates from an alien species called the Pluxarians. On top of that, we have a ton of mushrooms on the island, in particular around Reality Falls, which look very similar to Madcap. We can assume both Madcap and Bloom are from the Earth Queen's reality. So does this mean the Earth Queen is friendly or bad? Well, from the trailer, we can see she's looking through an orb at our reality, and we've seen so many of these orbs from the different elements in the past. The Ice King surrounded himself in an orb. The Q Queen did the same thing. So my guess is that this Bloom Watcher is bad and she's here to cause harm to Reality Zero. So how is this season's storyline going to play out? First, let's hear a quick word from today's sponsor, Fortnite Tracker. This is an in-game real-time solution to track all your stats, whether it's per game, the last seven days, or even over your lifetime. How cool is this? You can join a match and straight away see all the live stats of your teammates. They're kills, their wins, and a ton more. You can even view your match history here and see what guns you work best with. Yeah, my stats aren't looking too good. Make sure to check out Fortnite Tracker. It's simple and easy to download. Click the link in the description to download the Fortnite Tracker app for free today. Now, the storyline for this season is pretty easy to understand because the Bloom Watcher, aka the Earth Queen, seems to be evil. If you head on over
over to the sanctuary right now, you'll stumble across this wall inside that shows all the elements, just like the Ice King's table. We have fire for the Fire King, we have water ice for the Ice King, and we have a leaf for the Earth Queen. If all the other elements have been bad, then she's 100% wanting to take over the island and is our next villain. But what's her mission? Everyone thinks that the changes happening to this map is a good thing, but her mission is to take over Reality Zero by infecting the island through the reality tree. The title of Reality Falls could literally be a play on words. At the moment, we see it as a way of describing all the waterfalls in the area. But what if it's actually the reality falling, the reality collapsing? Our first hint about the reality falling apart is the Haven NPC on the map. She's the island's child and was born to defend it, but she's awfully concerned. The disappearance of the Clombos being her main problem. She's currently located near the zero point as she believes it's trying to tell her something. Maybe the zero point is trying to tell her that something bad is about to happen. The Seven are currently running tests on the reality tree and gathering energy scans. We don't even know if the reality tree coming off the zero point is a normal thing because it's always been in control of the imagined order. Like I said, Haven believes the zero point is trying to tell us something. Maybe that the reality tree branching off the zero point is using up all of its power because the zero point has been infected. We've currently teamed up with Bush Ranger, using him as kind of like an experiment to see how he is affected around the reality tree. After all, he is a tree. And the readings have come back so far. They include darkness, darkness, and more darkness. Once all locations on the map are infected, so that sleepy sound, the temple, and the daily bugle, this is when things will start to get worse. The merging of realities is a dangerous one, as we found out in season five, where we ended up nearly destroying the zero point, and that's currently what the reality tree is making the zero point do around the map, merge realities. As the season progresses, I wouldn't be surprised if we ended up seeing the zero point to start destabilizing. Will Jones and the Foundation finally find Gino? And what is the map going to look like at the end of the season when the Earth Queen is finally finished with it? There is no evidence right now to suggest exactly what's going to be happening for the storyline for this season, but listen to some of these crazy theories. As we have seen, the roots of the reality tree have been given life to different parts of the map, bringing in different realities. Since season one, the location of the Devourer Skull was revealed just east of Tilted Towers by the Imagined Order. This isn't just a coincidence. As the roots spread and infect the map. What happens at the end of the season if the roots finally reach the Devourer Skull? Will it bring it back to life? Could this be the Earth Queen's plan? The arm of the Mecha Team robot out at sea was a huge hint towards the live event we just had. Could this also be a hint to a future event? More than likely, this season is just going to be like season one of chapter three, a filler season, building up a story and hype for season four, where we'll then again have a live event. Just like the Ice King and Cube Queen, their storylines were only based over a few seasons. My theory is, is that the same thing will be happening to the Earth Queen. And that's everything you need to know about the storyline for this season so far. Use code MMCS in the Fortnite item shop if you end up buying anything and check out my latest video I've picked out just for you. I'll see you over there.